I don't love love the moon as such because it's very bright and you can't shoot anything other if any uh, uh, any other object if the moon is visible in the sky. Once, twice, thrice went super viral very quick. Did you see that going this viral? I saw that people all over the world. I mean, all news platforms are appreciating my work, and I was like. Wow. Okay. What what got you into astrophotography? I, and it, this is not the first piece that you've ever done. You've been into this for a while. So I've been practicing astrophotography for the past three years, from 2018. And uh, so I was interested in astronomy uh, since I was five or six years old. Uh, but then I joined uh, an organization in Pune, which is called as Jyotir Vidya Parisanstha or JVP. So it's India's oldest amateur astronomers association, and I'm a volunteer there now. So I got to learn about astrophotography and uh, more about astronomy from there, and my interest uh, in astronomy when I was a child just grew exponentially. That's lovely. It, it's not just about clicking a photo, right? And there's a lot of like you mentioned processing involved in that. What was the hardest thing to learn in that whole sequence of events? So uh, you might have read that I captured fifty thousand images, more than fifty thousand images, and not just one. So why fifty uh, thousand? So we see images in our mobile phones or our laptops. We need to zoom into them. They get pixelated or blurred. So I wanted to avoid that because a single photo does that. Uh, it pixelates the image when you zoom into it. So I captured videos of the different areas of the moon. So I magnified so much into the moon that I I can't see the whole disk or the complete half moon. I'll see only a small part of it, like two or three craters or a, a small area of the moon. So that, uh, like a jigsaw puzzle, one piece is one area of the moon. I captured with a video of it. So from that video, I got around 2,000 frames for one video, and like that, I captured 38 videos covering the entire moon surface. Did you expect to find such hues in colors? I wasn't expecting the colors from the camera because it's a 1.2 megapixel camera which I used. The blue color, which is uh, visible. At maximum, it uh, it represents the uh, minerals like titanium, aluminium, and a uh, mixture of iron. So, mm. but mostly titanium. So, the blue color represents that, and different minerals different, uh, emit different colors. So, w- what would you say is the core set of things that I need to learn if I want to get into astrophotography? Is it science? Is it camera? Is it w- what do I? Where do I start? A couple of things like a basic knowledge of the night sky, where the object is exactly, like constellations, and a basic settings of a DSLR camera. And if you are using a telescope, then how to use a telescope? So, what is the process of setting up a telescope and disassembling it? People don't know about astrophotography that much because we think that it's impossible to shoot these beautiful images of nebulae and galaxies from our homes. That's not exactly true. So, we can shoot uh, beautiful images of galaxies and nebulae. Even with a basic setup, so if you have a DSLR camera uh, and a lens or like a basic telescope, which is behind me, you can shoot beautiful images of the night sky. And if you are in a dark location, like a rural area, it, like basically you are living the life because uh, you have a DSLR se- setup and uh, you can sh- literally shoot uh, the beauty of uh, nebulae, galaxies, our own Milky Way galaxy. So two years ago, when I went to Spiti Valley in the Himalayan mountain ranges, I I got the tripod at my home. I had only a DSLR camera, so I used a rock and a book for uh, stabilizing and elevate uh, to elevate the camera. And I captured. In my opinion, they are beautiful. Uh, let me know what do you think. Awesome. This is this is this is beautiful. Thank you for this. Because when we as teachers try to reach out to students and say, hey, you know what? It, it's not about studying for the sake of marks. It's not about studying the books and then being happy about life. It's not about the words that you see in the book or you reproduce. It's it's about the experience that you create for yourself. Thank you. Thank you for this.